Hey, 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 hey. The objective of this video is to do a two sample Z interval for the difference of two population proportions. And this is section 10.1 of our book. And let's go to page 10 of your notes. So on page 10, problem number 9 specifically, we are looking at tweeting. So go ahead and read that information. And as you read it, you see we have a random sample. So we have a random sample of two different um, populations. So yes, we're talking about the big population of adults, but we're talking about subgroups here, 18 to 29, and another subgroup that is 30 to 49, and them using the internet and using um, Twitter. Both of them are separate random samples, and here we can see the number of people they had in each sample. So let's go on to part A. Part A is asking me to calculate the standard error. So here, and I'm looking at younger minus older. Now they use younger minus older and I sat there and gave the values instead of saying younger minus older but it's all good. We'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. So I just put down my notations and I have some color coding going on here so that you can see that the younger ones are in um, orange and the older ones are in green. Okay, they want the standard error. Remember this is the standard deviation and remember the formula for the standard deviation. It's that ugly formula right there. Remember on your AP test, we don't see that formula. This is what we see. So here's the formula that we see. However, we've got to remember since this is about a confidence interval, we cannot forget to put on our hats for both of the populations. So, let's continue. So, here's the formula. We're taking our values for your younger adults, the ages 18 to 29. I've got those in orange. This is the probability that they use Twitter. That's the probability that it doesn't happen over the entire sample size. Here, our older adults, 13 to 49. Here, the probability that they use Twitter, the probability not over the, the sample size. You do the math, you crunch it, and that's what we have. And no, I don't know another way of doing it, um, but maybe we can come up with some other way together. Now, here, they ask us to also, what does this information um, tell us? Well, I'm going to say it verbally, and you're going to have to write it down. Because what it tells us, if we have a lot of samples, that the difference of the sample proportion of these two age groups um, that use um, Twitter is off typically by 0 0.2089. That's what it's saying. Because remember, your standard deviation is literally your standard deviation, standard error, how off you are away from the mean. So that's why I said it is typically or on average that amount away um, from the true difference. And in this case, remember the true difference is the, the, the mean, the P sub 1 minus P sub 2. Okay, next. Okay, I decided to write in the um, interpretation of the standard error after all because we need to work on it. 
Okay, now let's look at what the next thing is. We have to construct and interpret a confidence interval, 90% of the difference between the um, true proportion. So 90% confidence interval difference between the true proportion of the adults um, of these age groups that use Twitter. Okay, so let's go with the four steps. Four steps, four steps. Okay, so here. Now notice here, Okay, this is slightly new. We've got to define two populations. So the true proportion of adults, and I couldn't. I know I could have used young and um, the younger and older, but yeah, whatever. Okay, but here's the age groups. Notice I tried to stick with the color coding. Okay, here naming the test a two proportion z interval for the proportion difference. But I kind of like this one. I had already written it down. A two-sample Z interval for P sub 1 minus P sub 2. So whichever one you want, just please remember this one's in your calculator. So that's the beauty of it. This one's not. But you've got to say for P difference. Otherwise, you're going to be wrong. Okay, or for P sub 1 minus P sub 2. Something that implies that you know that it's the difference. Okay, our plan, as we look at our plan, remember we've got two independent groups. So now we have to get the 10% rule for the adults um, um, between that age, the 10% rule for the adults of this age. And yes, here the sample size times 10 is going to be less than all the adults of that age. Sample size times 10 is um, less than all the adults of that age. Okay, here your LCC, here's your LCC for the age group 18 to 29, stay in with the colors. Okay, remember it's N times P, and then N times P naught. In all four cases, they all exceed um, 10, so we're fine. Next here, I want to look at, now I'm ready for the do. Now, please notice something. Uh, you don't see a big, fat, juicy equation here. Why? We did the standard error there. And plus, we named it. So here, I just wrote down what P sub 1 was again, P sub 2, confidence interval. Remember, we're talking 90%, so it's 1.645. We take everything, and we just plug it into the equation. We can refer to our AP test. What does it say here? The statistic plus or minus the critical value times the um, standard deviation of the statistic. Remember, standard deviation and standard errors are the same. Oh, where did I get that from? Up there, like I said. Okay, and next, here are the conclusion. We're 90% confident that the true proportion difference, remember we have to have that true proportion difference of adults, da 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 da, -da is captured within that interval. Okay, peace out. Ta-ta for now.